look please stay tuned and watch the video there and you will work out how to get this look hey everyone it's Georgia here and I have just done my brows if you guys can see what I did was with my brows I used the um, elf brow thing <laughs> I meant the brow thingy um, and then what I just did was um, I used these brushes to do my brows and I just used normally like I just use these two um, this is to brush my brow and this is to define it and I just did that so these are my brows and now I'm going to go on to the face and prep the face okay so I just put on the um, Medusa touch primer and I also put on the uh, liquid strobe and now I'm going to apply my foundation for you guys um, if you guys can see it's a little bit liquid strobey looking highlighter I only put like a little bit on because I didn't want to overdo it so um, now I'm going to put on the um, foundation and I'm going to be using the infallible Pro Glow I love this stuff if you guys don't have this stuff, you should totally get this stuff. It is amazing. And I'm going to apply it. Basically, I have been using all uh, all Australia's products for this tutorial. So I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender, which is still wet. And I'm going to take my Pro Glow Foundation and put it on my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in places where I need to put foundation on. I love this stuff because it's super light but super effective if you guys know what I mean. So it's light but really effective and like it's super th uh, it's super thin but really thick when it applies to your face which it's great because it actually does apply to your face really quite well and it's one of my favorite foundations and it does um, go a little bit like white in some places like the liquid but it doesn't bother me because when you blend it out it just goes on really well anyway so I don't really have a dislike in it I'm gonna grab some more and I am using my Jeffree Star mirror if you guys are wondering what the wash mirror I'm using to do my makeup it is the Jeffree Star mirror I got it on black shallow if you guys want to go grab that I should put it in the bio link but can't be bothered <laughs> and then I'm going to take it to my forehead so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm just going to tap it into my skin and under my eye area and down my neck and pretty much that is my foundation done it's simple and so easy to do this is why I love this foundation um, because it is simple and easy to use and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get after this I'm going to get the translucent powder and I'm going to grab my brush for that and do that put the ready set go translucent powder from Australia's on my face um, I used the infallible pro glow by L'Oreal now I'm going to apply the finishing powder um, I don't I find that I don't need to apply another um, foundation powder on my face with this stuff uh, you can always do it if you want to go deeper and darker with um, some of your uh, foundations I just choose not to because I actually like this look um, so if you guys are wanting to you can actually put on a darker you can put like a ivory or another dark um, another dark found powdered foundation um, if you want to I mean I just like to use this stuff <coughs> And it does go everywhere, but I quite like this stuff. So you guys are more than welcome to jump on Australia's and actually pick up this stuff. This stuff is amazing, and I love that it like 
sets as well. It's um, it sets as well as as gives me like a clear sheen kind of look. Um, and I love this stuff. I actually bought this a while back now. If you guys knew they were doing a take 50 sale where they had a lot of um, their stuff 50% off. And actually I went and took value of that sale and picked up some really awesome products from them. Um, I picked up a lot of their uh, new girl boss uh, lipsticks. Demi Matte. Also, I'm going to take the eyeshadow primer in Australia's and I'm just going to apply that to my eyes and give it like a base so I can put on the eyeshadow. Don't mind if my eyes are red. I um, have got that and I don't understand what's going on with that, but <laughs> take no notice of that. It's, I don't know why it's doing that. It's just got a problem with me lately. So, sorry about that. Um, I'm trying to make the most of like my videos as well so I can do a little bit more videos okay so that is the eyes primed now it is on to the eye. now is the eyeshadow which is my favorite part of this because I am using their new kaleidoscope um, eyeshadow palette like oh my god I just got this today and this is like a new product so this is my first time dipping into it <sighs> so excited so as you can tell it has some really gorgeous colors um, and I quite like them uh, a friend of mine uh, pastel Pegasus said that she didn't like the yellow I don't know I should see what she means um, and give it a little bit of a color I'm gonna go I think okay I think I'm reading this right okay so love is I don't know I can't read it sorry guys so I'm going to dip into this really nice pastely kind of color here this um, kind of beigey looking color and I'm just going to put that on top of my uh, crease my brow bone if you guys know what I mean because it's gonna give it like a oh okay that's quite nice it's not dark enough for me but I quite like that as like a pastel kind of color it's quite nice and it's got some glitter to it too it's got some sheen it's got some uh, nice glittery feel uh, feel to it so it's kind of cool um, I might take in the like deepy darky kind of purpley color and kind of add that to my crease bone too Ah, oh, see Kate now we're talking okay that is such a really nice color okay I kind of like that color oh look at that guys that is a nice color oh and then what I might do is I might take some of the pinky kind of ones and add that to the lower bone of my eye Ooh, okay these are super stunning uh, I don't know about any but about you guys but these are super stunning actually they're quite nice on the eyes okay kaleidoscope you actually are quite a nice color I'm going to go get um, one of my bigger fluffy brushes and I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more just so I can blend it out a little bit better what color are we going to dump into next I kind of like it maybe we could try a little bit of yellow maybe oh okay the yellow is kind of subtle but really quite nice I kind of like subtle yellow Oh, it makes it like a lemon, like a lemonade goddess kind of color. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Um, I might go into the, um, I don't know. I really quite am living for these colors. Don't know about you guys, but I think this kaleidoscope palette is gorgeous. Look at the pigment. Like it picks up a punch of pigment, which is great. So I'm going to pick up a um, just a normal brush brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with the makeup spritz um, just to 
dip into the color a little bit darker and what color am I going to choose for the eyes I'm thinking we might go that really nice got, uh, yellow color and put that in the center because I'm kind of feeling this that color Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, these are super pigmented. They're gorgeous. Okay, who would know that Australia's would make some really good eyeshadows? I, this is like my first time using their shadows, like their shadow palette, and I'm quite in love with it, actually. I find that they're gorgeous. Like, And then I might add a little bit of green to the inner corner. And blend that in to the inner corner. Oh, okay, that's really quite nice. And then I might grab some silver and add that to the inner corner just to give it a little bit of depth. Oh, I don't actually quite mind this product. Kind of, oh, look at that. Who else is impressed with this kind of palette? I am so impressed with it. Okay, I might grab the Strobe Jelly and put a little bit in the crease into the inner corner. And just to give it a little bit of a kind of cute little feel. So I'm going to grab my finger maybe and add a little bit into the inner corner over that silver just to give it a little bit more of a glow oh okay that's looking gorgeous okay okay and then I'm gonna grab some of the strobe um, stuff and put my finger in it oh it is it's it is it's like putty it's kind of cool learn how to stop Sorry guys, my cat is um, biting shit. Stop it! Sometimes you just gotta yell at the cat. <laughs> I don't mean literally yell at the cat, I just mean sometimes you gotta get up Luna a little bit because she does bite things and does ridiculous shit and it's kind of crazy. Okay, this strobe jelly is gorgeous too, like, uh, hello strobe jelly. Okay, you work. Okay, I actually quite like this strobe jelly. Even though like I used a little bit. It's not too bad. I quite like it actually, guys. It's nice. It gives it like a subtle, really nice subtle glow. But it's super gorgeous. Who would have known that something so gorgeous and pretty would be gorgeous on your face? Like, look at that. Like, I know you guys probably can't see the glow, but, like, it's gorgeous. Okay, next of all, I'm going to do my brows. Not my brows. I meant my mascara and eyeliner. And then I will wrap the video up. So, I'm going to do... I'm going to use the Australia's Liquid... Uh, K-pop liner on my eyes because that's the only eyeliner I actually have on me that is Australia's. If I had more, I would probably buy more. I like to be quiet for this process. Sorry, guys. <laughs> actually really like to be quiet for this process because it's easier to do it when it's quieter because then I can focus one eye done, then the next. This is like my all-time favorite eyeliner. I actually like the way that 
they made it so it was like a thin idea and I love how thin it is because it's gorgeous and then I'm going to also use uh, if it doesn't leak everywhere I'm also going to use their mega lash in their mascara and then next I'm going to do their lips and then I'll be done Next, I'm going to put on one of their lips, and I don't know whether to go in Power or Slay. I think I like Empower. So I'm going to put on Empower in one of their Demi mattes, and then I am going to wrap the video up and put some spray on. And there we go the finished look I hope you guys love this look as much as I loved creating it don't forget to go check out Australia's and their products their products are super amazing and I mean they are so great for anybody who likes makeup and also I'm going to do a spritz with the Australia's uh, sets makeup for all day wear finishing spritz and I hope you guys love this video as much as I loved making it and being able to show you guys my makeup looks I hope you love it as much as I love it thank you I know my hair is a little bit kind of crazy today because I haven't really done anything with it so you can see that it's kind of like all over the place and crazy but I'm sorry about that I hope you guys like this look as much I love the strobe jelly I'm kind of like addicted to this strobe jelly so make sure you get your strobe jelly which is $19 and it's so cool um, it's $19 at the moment it's free shipping also you can get this uh, cryotopic uh, kaleidoscope palette for $20 too um, there is so much, so much products from Australia that are amazing. Um, their Ready, Set, Go powder is amazing. Hope you guys love this look. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go check out my Instagram. Hope you guys love this video as much as I loved recording it.